Hi everybody! My name is Ellen Thompson and I'm going to be your facilitator for the brand new Math SLHLIA workshop. Just a few things about myself first. Um, like I said, my name is Ellen and I live in central Canada. I've been teaching IB for about 15 years. I've been a senior moderator for the IA for about 10 years and I'm also the online lead facilitator which means I'm in charge of all of the group 5 online courses. So I've signed the facilitators and I do all the troubleshooting. So I have a lot of experience in both the IA and the online environment. Just a few housekeeping items. If you've never done an online training course before or, or with IB or without or you're not used to the system we use, which is called Moodle, there is what's called an online toolkit, and you'll find it on the main page when you log into the work, site, work, work sorry, to the workshop. Um, and what this will do is just help you through the online environment, like how do you post in a forum, and what are all the different features. If you've already done an online course, or you're really familiar with an online program called Moodle, um, feel free to skip that. Where do you start with this course? Well, it's a four week course and there's four modules. So that means roughly you want to do one module per week. And I'll be putting a calendar in the announcement forum that'll show you the breakdown week by week. It is a work at your own pace course in the sense that you complete the activities as you can, but again, you want to aim for about a module per week so that you don't fall behind. Most of the activities require you to post um, a comment on the online forum or to post something or reply to someone else, so it is important you do that as a timely manner. You can't complete everything in the last week of the course and expect to get their certificate. It just doesn't work that way. Um, one thing you want to make sure you read is what's called the completion criteria. It's found on the main page of the workshop. It's its own button right in the center of the page. And it'll just outline exactly what you need to do to make sure that you earn their certificate at the end. If you have any questions with any part of that, please feel free to contact me at any time. Again, my job here is to facilitate, so I'll be on the forums all the time and replying to your comments and giving you feedback as you go along. But if you're ever stuck or you're not sure what you're supposed to do, you're always welcome to contact me. There's many ways you can do that. There's an internal message system built into Moodle, similar to Facebook when you private message someone. You can also email me directly. I'm going to put my email into the announcement form so you can find it. Or on the right side of the main page, you're going to see a link to a burning questions forum. So you can post any really important question you have there, and it's always the first thing I'll check every time I log on. Again, where do you start? What you're going to do is look over the main page of the course and then on the left hand side of the course you're going to see one box for each of the, the modules we're going to be completing. So you're going to click on module one once you're done with the main page. What that will do is link you to module one and the very first link you'll see in the middle of the page will be the module notes. This is the way it's going to work for every single module. You'll click on the module notes and you have a choice of either to read them on screen or you can print off a, a copy, it's called the downloadable copy. And it's going to work you through a series of activities. It's going to ask you either to read a document or to look up something and to reply. So basically you just follow through the module notes, again aiming to complete one module per week. I will see you on Moodle and if you have any questions at any point over the next four weeks, please don't hesitate to contact me. Talk to you soon. Bye.